In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to turn raw Google Analytics 4 data that lies around in BigQuery looking like this into a nice table that actually allows you to extract insights out of your data. For instance, what events are being triggered on the different pages your customers are visiting. Another example might be what pages are your customers visiting before they convert. This allows you to analyze conversion journeys on your web page and figure out where to send paid traffic. These are just two examples. You can come up with any insight you'd like, and all of this can be 90% automated with ChatGPT. As a marketing professional, you no longer need to hire a data analyst to give you the insights. You can do this yourself faster and a lot cheaper. So here we have the publicly available GA4 e-commerce sample dataset. If we have a look at that, we can see what a raw GA4 event dataset looks like in BigQuery. You can click preview if you want an overview of the dataset and see the different fields. And what I want to show you now is how you use ChatGPT to query this particular dataset. And the way that we do this is that we go to the schema of the GA4 event table. The schema tells you the structure of the table and the different fields in the table. For instance, we can go into event parameters or event params, which is a nested field and look at the different values. So what we can do with this schema is if we click the top box, we select everything, then we can copy this as a table. And once it's copied, we can paste it into a text editor. So we're going to use this schema in a prompt, and we're going to ask ChatGPT to analyze this table. So here's the prompt, we're going to ask it to extract insights and return cleanly written SQL code. Then we're going to give ChatGPT the table name because it's going to need that for the SQL code. And we're going to give it the schema that we just copied from BigQuery. And with this, ChatGPT knows pretty much everything it needs to know in order to extract insights from the GA4 event table. So now I'm going to prompt GPT-4 with the text I just showed you. And I've inserted the schema that we copied from BigQuery. So the first thing we're going to ask ChatGPT for is to count four different event types. We want to count first visit, click, scroll, and page view. And we want to group this by the page location, which is the URL, and we want one column for each event. And once ChatGPT is done writing the code, we just go to the top of the code box and click copy code. Then we head over to the BigQuery console where we can just paste in the query that we just got from ChatGPT. Then we click Run, and this is going to take a few seconds to run. And here we have the table with the event counts, the four different events, grouped by page location. So this wasn't a problem for ChatGPT, but this was a very specific request. Let's try an insight that is a bit more open for interpretation. So now I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I want to understand what pages a customer visited before purchase. I'm going to give a little help. I'm going to tell that the event details are found in the nested field event params. So let's see what we get in this case. This was a bit more complicated query. ChatGPT was using common table expressions, the width clause. Now, if we copy this query and go to the BigQuery console, and then run the provided code. We see that we are actually not getting any data back. And this is actually because there's an error in the SQL code. So let's give this feedback to ChatGPT. And here we see that ChatGPT suggests that there might be specific event types missing from this data, which we know is not the case for this data set. So this will give you a way to try to find the error. And in many cases, ChatGPT will actually find the error. But I'm going to stop ChatGPT here because I know what the error is. The problem is that ChatGPT in this case wrote the event page view without an underscore. And of course, I can see this because I know the data set. So you need to know a little bit about the data you're querying. So I'm going to give ChatGPT this feedback. And now ChatGPT will update the code with the right event.
And once it's done, we can go and copy the code again and see if it works this time. And it did. And here we have the table that we wanted, showing the purchase timestamp and all the pages visited before that purchase for every user pseudo ID, so every customer. So these were just two examples. This can be done with any type of insight. This will allow you to extract the insights so much faster. All right, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.